The thing about Copenhagen in winter is that it gets dark really early. So even though we flew in at about 4.30 and got to the hotel at about 5 p.m. Did we get a view? Um, oh, wow. By the time we actually got to do anything, it was, well, dinner time. The last thing we did that night was have dinner at the lounge. And then that morning we woke up and had breakfast at the lounge. And in between we just had fitful sleep born of jet lag. Don't get me wrong, there is nothing that I like more than a good breakfast spread. And Denmark really came through with the breads, the other baked goods, the pastries. Oh, so good. I love being titanium elite. Such good upgrades. After breakfast, we went for a little walk. And then we promptly went to lunch. So this place is called Sticks and Sushi, which is a Danish and Japanese fusion restaurant. This is so good, it tastes like a croissant. After lunch, we did a Viator walking beer tour, and I'll leave a link to the one we did in the description, um, which was really interesting so that we could learn a little bit about the history and the culture of beer brewing in Copenhagen. The guide was really friendly and really interesting to talk to because he works at the Danish Museum and so I think he took the opportunity to sneak a little history and socio-political analysis into the walk which gave it a little bit of extra flavor. There is a real danger that you may in fact get hit by a bicycle in Copenhagen and I think that Andrew spent about 70% of his mental energy just making sure I didn't walk under one. And just like in Australia, you have to go get a kebab after drinks. In Copenhagen, that's a hot dog. So that's what we did. We took all of our newfound friends and hunted down a hot dog stand. I'm going kebab and I run. And even though it was the middle of November, Christmas in Copenhagen was in full swing. Now I've never met a little market that I did not love, but this next vendor just blew me away. We actually waited 20 minutes to be able to eat here. And we weren't the only ones being told, come back in 20 minutes, I don't have any food that's cooked so I can feed you, but everybody just kept lining up. I have never in my life had salmon this delicious. We've just found out that the Queen is coming for a parade today. Hmm. And like with anything that involves crowds, Andrew and I promptly went in the other direction. Mm -hmm. 
and we walked and walked and walked and after all of that walking I was leading us to the McKellar Bag Haven absolutely adamant to Andrew that yes there was a bridge there was not a bridge this isn't even the first time this has happened to us there was that one time in Bamberg where I insisted that we were going to get across the river only to be told that that actually that's just a kayaking path nevertheless we caught the ferry we made our way to Bag Haven and so the adventure continues Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to pour that with the basket or go on. See how this is going to work. And then we found an even more complicated way to walk back to the ferry, get on the ferry, and then lovingly make our way across the harbour. We were really tantalized by the idea of doing the polar plunge except neither of us wanted to take the risk that we were going to get sick but hundreds and hundreds of people we could see doing exactly what these guys had done jumping off this particular pier and, and actually the other piers and getting in that's that's not the same thing andrew <laughs> 